Greetings, everybody. Mike Emmerich here. Eddie Olchek alongside Ray Ferraro down at ice level. Tonight, we have a thrilling evening of hockey ahead. Tonight, a great game that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Down the many steps we go to the ice level. Here's Ray Ferraro. I'd be really surprised if this isn't one of the better games we've seen over the last couple of weeks. Both teams are evenly matched. They can get on the body. They can really skate. I expect a great night. Opening face-off is just seconds away. We'll hear from Ray Ferraro shortly. Eddie Olchek alongside me, Mike Emmerich. This Stanley Cup final game is underway. Oh, and he's hammered. Looks like he arrived at the rink in a bad mood. Maybe he missed his wake-up call. That early hit is an angry one. He takes that point pass. Oh, deflected away. Pumped, loses. Score! What a great early start for the home squad. You want to score goals, you've got to get to this area of the ice. Murray's trying to cover the bottom of the net, but the puck beats him anyway. The Bandits now have a one-goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Good help from the centerman. Nicely into the zone. Oh, bad giveaway there. Bandits force another turnover in this game. Let's see what they can do with it. One second. Right on through. Score! He's got his second. That's a confident goal scorer there when you fake to the forehand and put it in. Oh, you're right, Enzo. That's an unbelievable move by the forward. But the goaltender seems mesmerized by it, too. Now he can pick the puck up out of his net. Just over three minutes played in the first. Just recently, another goal, and so the lead is two. Nice pass right up the gun. Got it in his own end. Shoot! That hit somebody! Strong wrist shot. The Penguins move toward the neutral zone. He's in on an onside play. Possession taken over by Shen. And he carries it up the wing. Sashay's by. Snaps a wrist shot. Directing that one to Malkin. Terrific open ice hit. The defense can rest. It all alone. Score! They're back to within one. Malkin's quick read of the play allowed him to get that breakaway and score. Kemper's in the default butterfly position, but he doesn't cover the net. There's still room there. Malkin's gotten his team back to within one. Well, that's leadership. He took it upon himself and got his team on the board. And they've won the faceoff. Pass attempt to Thornton. Pass cut. And it's snapped by Thornton. Into the end of attack. Looks ahead to start something. He gets that pass ahead in stride. He's through. Great stick save. One-timer. Terrific challenge. Outstanding save. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Well, you know he's happy, guys. He's sitting there on the bench. He's got a couple of goals in his back pocket already. But you know he's thinking about number three. What an achievement that would be to bang in one more. Got possession. Let's a shot fly. Freezes play. Malkin's had times over the last few games where he's been really quiet, but he's always found a way to get on the score sheet. He's done it again tonight. He is such a dynamic player, he doesn't need many chances to produce. 
North Carolina's got it again. A great wrist shot. A lightning like glove save. Trying to go to Hagelin. Mashed in. Makes that play deep. Pinpoint pass up that right wing. The Penguins with it along the boards. Oh, broke it up. A shot. Can you say ping? He imposed his will. Onside. Shoots one. Blocked. Good body contact. The Bandits gliding along through the neutral zone. Toward the net. Score! Support like that, you gotta move your feet, move the puck, move yourself, and you're gonna be rewarded with a goal. The goalie thinks he's got the bottom half of the net covered. Obviously, he doesn't as this goes by him on the low stick side. North Carolina scored again. That gives them a two-goal advantage. Let's see if they can carry it through to the intermission. A good tie-up on the face-off. That led to his team getting the puck. Puck is thrown to Bonino. Knocked it away with the stick. Pitching it to Goudreau. Oh, did he ever get mashed? Oh, that is a bone crusher, Doc. He went right over top of him. That hit was delivered with intent. Two guys together with force. Big force. He is shut right off. Every puck is contested physically. There is a collision on every shift. Look at this. Oh, he got that. Speared along by Bonino. Possession gained by Sidney Crosby. Snapping a pass to Kessel. Good job with the poke check. Still got a terrific balance. Off a of body. And now it's directed to Matthias. Shoots one. That's why. Pitching this one to Crosby. Looking to Kessel. The clock has bled down to the last minute. One minute left in the first period. Fires, score! And it's a one goal game. Kessel's quick hands allowed him to snap that one off and score the goal. This barely changes direction after the goalie gets just a touch on it. Not enough to make the save. to face off win with a shot great save passing one off now to Malkin perfect passing right through center <laughs> 20 minutes are in the books also in the books a lot of goals both teams with offensive confidence the difference is one The Penguins, with the scoring of this goal, have clawed their way back closer. We'll see if there's momentum from this when we continue after this. minutes in the books 20 minutes ahead and so what did you think of the first Pittsburgh's lucky to still be in this game after the first period they had turnover after turnover I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission moving it to Crosby no further that rush out in the slot oh terrific save on a great chance terrific stop from right in front of the net but you got to find a way to put the puck in the net Directing that one to Silverberg. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Terrific love save.
Big face-off win. One-timer. And the linesmen were watching very carefully. That is an offside. The Penguins with a center ice face-off win. Gets across, looks over his options. On to Latang. Fires a shot. The Bandits in their own end have control of the puck. Pass attempt to Nordstrom. Shoots one. That shot hit a man. Banked right ahead. A shot. Good save there. Pittsburgh's organizing back in the defensive zone. Moved along and in. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Trying to go to Crosby. Enormous hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Got his stick on it. Oh, that one hit someone on the way. That puck's loose a good defensive play. Puck is thrown to Matthias. Gets in, and he'll look over his options. Turned on that. Score! Presence of mind to get to the front of the net, open up, and one time it in past the goaltender. That's the shot there, Enzo. Low to the stick side. The goaltender can't get to it. Bandits have heavily outshot the opposition here, and they have a two-goal lead to show for it. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Pittsburgh setting things up in the defensive zone. Gains the blue line. Murray is at the bench. Delayed penalty continues. Extra man off. Turned a shot on net. Terrific shot, but a save. The Bandits will have to sit two minutes for interference. You cannot stop his progress in this particular play. You have to allow him the ability to be able to move up the ice interference. Pittsburgh's want to block shots is quite admirable. They challenge every shot lane. They make sure every puck has a difficult path to their goaltender. Breakaway! A shot! That's a marvelous save! You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Pitching it to Mata. One into another. Crosby's not very happy after taking that huge hit. He wasn't aware who was around, and he paid the price. Puck grab. What's next? That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. I love that hit. That's old-time hockey. Snapping a pass to Crosby. Big hit, possession gone. Pitch straight ahead through center. And now it's directed to Thornton. Enormous collision. One-timer, masterful save of an overwhelming one-time shot. Been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. A little under nine minutes remaining in the period. Just recently another goal, and so the lead is two. Tie up and a help from the winger. Points it. Shoots it off. Sacrificial play on that block shot. Knocked to a knee. It's loose. Pitching this one to Lupo. Into the attacking end. One timer. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. Shooter tempted to stare at the ceiling on that one. What a glove grab. Murray's looking around wondering where everybody else is, but he had to make a save on an odd man rush. The best. 
Bandits win the draw. Looking to Latang. Huge hit. Possession's gone. Slot shot. With no time whatsoever, he turned it aside. Passing one off now to Lupo. And he gains the zone. Brings a shot. Got a piece of it with the glove. And he's hammered. He might have seen him. At what a save, considering the shooter that's usually in. Sheary's banged up here as he works his way back to the bench. I can see the trainer working his way down to his end. Great save at the edge of the crease. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Silverberg's big time save, big time shooter. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Got a piece of that one. The Penguins carrying it in their own end. Knocked right off the stick. He throws it there. That shot glanced off the post. Remarkable save off that blast. Ran into the defense. He's lost it. Looking for options. Great pressure. It's only a matter of time. Bulls his way along. Score! He completes the hat trick. Tenner had no chance stopping that puck with a quick release. Edzo, he's in good position here, but the shooter's known to be a real accurate shooter. He doesn't have much room, and he doesn't miss it. North Carolina's lead is already enormous. Will he just sit on this now and get the horn at the end of the second? The Penguins get it off the faceoff. That's the way to make him pay. Perfect centering pass. Didn't miss by much. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Score! Another goal. Silverberg's quick hands put himself in a position to score on the forehand. This is a great move, the way that he moves the puck from side to side. The goalie eventually bites on the deep, and then he puts it in. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. It's going to be a long rest of the night for him as he'll slowly make his way to the bench, exchange his mask for a baseball hat. His night is done, and it hasn't been a very good one. The Bandits have built a tremendous lead and also built some wonderful confidence. What will they say in the second intermission? Probably not much. Neutralized face-off win. Gets in, looks over his options here. To the backhand. Held there. You don't see this from these two teams a lot. Pushing and shoving after whistles, but keep an eye on it. Chaput's point streak is getting notoriety around the league. When you're on a hot streak that lasts this long, everybody notices, everybody wonders when it's going to end. Bandits prevailed again. Just wide of the post. Moving it to Bonino. Clock about to bleed down to the final minute. Slides it to the point. North Carolina's up the wing, controlling play now. Let's it go. He scores! Just before the period ends. Center wasn't sure when he was going to shoot the puck. I love the way he sold this move. Great stick work as he gets the puck around the goaltender and then leaves him no option as this puck is in the net. North Carolina's getting a larger and larger lead as the second period gets shorter and shorter and a full third period and a chance to enlarge. Drill! Score! Late in the period. Couldn't get much later for that one. Taking a slap shot like that, you got to get your whole body into it. He did. I had to the old hockey saying, less is more. If he just tries to catch it, he's probably got it. 
The Bandits have built an enormous lead and some wonderful confidence here. The coach probably won't have to say much at the end of this second period. Forty minutes have been played in this contest, and everyone gets a break, but just for a moment. Third period coming up. Listen up, fans. For tonight only, all team's jerseys are 15% off regular price with the presentation of your ticket stub. Get yours before they're all gone. Pittsburgh suffering in net. Probably their whole team play needs to be re-examined during this intermission, but the goaltenders had a rough night. Here's an example as we go to break. Forty minutes down, at least twenty minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? North Carolina's coaching staff, Doc, told us before the game they want to get off to a good start, and they have in a lot of areas, especially on the scoreboard. They are well in control of this game. Let's see how they play it the last 20. Period has begun with one team still short. Some carryover time left. Pittsburgh's going back to get restarted with their advantage. That one's off the frame. And he is reefed. I saw that one coming from a mile away. The Bandits waiting back in their own end. Gets in. What'll he do? Pass cut. He covers and holds on. Never satisfied. Never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He'd better be thinking about getting number three. Good clean win on the draw. Slid back across from one point to the other. Cut loose, knocked down to a knee. With a strong wrist shot, the glove like lightning. The Penguins with a clean win on the draw. Propelled to Sheary. Directing that one to Thornton. Heavy hit right in the middle of the ice. I'm not so sure how he held on to his gloves or his stick after being on the receiving end of that spectacular open ice hit. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. That's a good hit off the forecheck. Pass attempt to Latang. He could start some danger here. The Penguins go back to pick it up. Time is dwindling on this power play. The Bandits have stayed on the body throughout this contest. As a result, they're starting to slow down the opposition, and they've increased their lead. Good clean win. One-timer. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Smart recovery by Cronwall. Puck picked up here. The Penguins have left the defensive zone. He gains the zone. Her off his glove. Shot stared him down and made the save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. No team worth its name is going to let that go. I've seen way too much of this pushing and shoving after whistles. I think the referees need to take control of this game. Great stick stop here, guys. That shot was dangerous. He was able to deny it quickly with his stick. The Penguins control from the faceoff. North Carolina's recoiling back in the defensive zone. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Waffle boarding. He's got it. Laid on to Goudreau. Moves. Terrific save. Marches on a cross. 
Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Great defensive job. What a hit. That is a massive open. I he scores! They hope to make a change with that one. Kemper's known to have a good glove, but he gets beaten up over top of it here. He was in the butterfly, opened up just a little bit too much room. And they take that neutral zone face off. And the loose puck gathered in by Phil Kessel. The Penguins look to make a difference up the wing. In front. One timer. He scores. Second of the game. What a performance. The video will reveal here that the goaltender was in excellent position. Sometimes the shot is just so perfect, it's unstoppable. Possession established, good reach there. Scored by number 81, Bill Kessel, assisted by number 87, Sidney Crosby, and by number Can he generate something from there? Sheary, time of the goal, seven minutes, that one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Thanks, guys. This has been a wonderful night for him. Every time he's had the puck, he's been able to find open ice, and whenever he's had the puck, it's not stayed on his stick very long. Ray, he's certainly one of the three stars in my book. job on the draw. He banked it right ahead. Pop loose because of that hit. A shot! Why? What a chance! Everything's got to go through the middle of the ice. That's exactly right. Lightning-like wonderful save! I thought the second was the toughest. but a good reach and a good step in there for possession. Gains the zone. Shoots one. Has a chance to make a play through the corner. That one's deflected. Good work with the stick. The Bandits looking to head man up the wing. Can't get a shot on him. Can he generate something? Lightning in that glove. The Penguins leave their own zone. Man, oh man, what a hit. I think he just tattooed him on the boards. Hagelin's hurt here. He's just going to go back to the bench. He's in some kind of pain. He won't avoid something for doing that. And play a stop for a penalty. The Bandits just got too close. Goaltender interference, and it's a minor. He's trying to do his job, not allow the goaltender to see the puck, but unfortunately, he bumps him a bit. That's goaltender interference. They've moved the puck around beautifully on the power play, just nothing to show for it. I agree entirely, Eddie. Let's see if they prove us right here. He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. Right in front. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over it. Seems like he was in too tight on the goaltender. What a hit! Malkin's often been talked about as a 200-foot player. That means using your body, but just trying to get yourself around the ice with your skin. Oh, and he is drilled! Good place to shoot from. Tuck that right away. This is an easy game to comment on because it's been nothing but goals, goals, goals. There's not been many saves to talk about. The goaltenders have had a difficult night defensively. They haven't had much help 
either as both teams are filling the net. Save. Puck covered, whistle blown. There's not an empty seat in the house. It's another sellout game. The team would like to thank you for your continued overwhelming support. Good face-off win. One-timer. A short-handed goal. I know he's got a heavy shot, but you can't score from that far out. Low stick side used to be an area that you shot all the time, but now that the goaltenders are in the butterfly, it's not as easy to beat, but this one goes through them pretty quickly. North Carolina's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. By number 40. Gains the zone. There's a shot that's way wide. I'm sure he meant well. Boy, this puck had a lot of steam on it. They score! A short-handed goal for multiple times in this game. Stick was in a ready position to accept that puck and put it in as a one-timer. Sometimes your best isn't enough. This is a perfect shot up over a desperation attempted glove save. North Carolina's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. He's fifth of the playoffs. Gets in. What does he do? Slowed him right down. One-timer, masterful save of an overwhelming one-time shot. And the puck now possessed by Thornton. Gives it to the point. From the outside. Score! A goal on the power play. Sherry's anticipation allowed him to get that puck on the backhand and put it in the net. Enzo, I got a good look at this one. He's in the butterfly. It looks from my position like he's got the entire net covered. Obviously, there's a little bit open. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Nice tip of the pass. Right where the boards turn, he's got it. He scores! Two straight goals. Thornton's reading of the play, he knew the puck was below the goal line. He got it and he one-timed it in. Now this stinks for the goaltender, Edzo. He stops about 85% of this puck. That's not enough, it just trickles past him. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Has it back deep. Nicely into the zone. Big one. Score! What a tremendous night for him. Not necessarily how hard you shoot the puck, but it's the release. What a beautiful forehand shot. And so the goalie thinks he's got this puck stopped. Look at how he reacts and stops so much of it. He thinks it's in his equipment somewhere, but it trickles into the net. North Carolina's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. Trying to go to Goudreau. Scored by number 34. Shoots. Save. Hanging on to it in their own end. 
pushing it on up the wing. It's an onside play. Strong play, good reach. Kessel's been like a one-man game today. He's been all over the ice, and his number is all over the score sheet, too. He's alone! Score! What a phenomenal night for this guy! Silverberg's foot speed created that breakaway chance, and he scored. I think when he takes a look at this on video, he's going to see he was in really good position, and he just wasn't able to stop a perfect shot. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. Has it in his own end. Got that tremendous scoring chance. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. Pittsburgh's got it. Slid to Kessel. The Bandits carrying on in the defensive zone. Cuts through. Let's it fly. He scores. Three straight goals. You want to score goals, especially off of rebounds? Go to this area. Pucks to the net need to be deflected into the corner. Because the goaltender can't do that, the goal scorer is able to pounce on the rebound. Good reach there. Jabbed away by Shen. Chip to Crosby. Whoa, what a play! Crosby's speed allows him to close onto his man, and then he flattens him. This is a great hit designed to spark this team in their cup. And that's it. The game is over. The Bandits have another win, and the streak continues. This team has been hot as of late. They're following their game plan. It's resulting in wins. Time like playoff time. See you next time. Good night, all.